Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Elizabeth and I run the blog lifefromtheviolasection.com where I share my favorite practice tips, general advice, and tech for musicians. Today I am sharing my 2021 holiday gift guide. This is my second year in a row making this video. I'm super excited to share this year's recommendations with you guys. So I am a classical musician, so a lot of these gifts will be geared more towards classical musicians than like a hobby or like rock musicians or um, kind of like those different types of music. Um, but of course, please feel free to watch this video for lots of recommendations, even for other types of like non-classical musicians. So first off, I want to say that sometimes the best gift for a musician can be something entirely unrelated to music. Please do not feel like just because someone in your life is a musician that you have to get them a music related gift. You do not. They are humans. Um, most of us do have, you know, other hobbies and other interests. So we do not need tons and tons of music stuff. These are just ideas if you want to gift someone something music related. So my first recommendation today is the book Girl Unstrung, which I had the honor of reading an advanced copy before it was published. It was just released on November 23rd, and it is a young adult novel about a 14-year-old girl named Clara who plays the viola and wants to get into Juilliard and professional orchestras and all of that, and it just follows a bit of her journey. So this is a great read if you have um, a teenage musician in your life, especially a violist or any aged violist, really. It's just so fun reading about someone who plays the viola because there aren't many books written about violists. So this is a great option if you have a teenage musician or a violist in your life who loves to read. Um, it was a really great read. It was very fun and it was pretty fast paced, not too long. I'll have links for all of my recommendations below. Some of them will be on Amazon, some on Etsy, different things. I'm not affiliated with anyone right now. My next recommendation is just fun sheet music. I sometimes get music, sheet music that I need from my parents for the holidays, and sometimes I just ask for fun sheet music like this, like these Harry Potter solos. So um, this is actually my mom's piano book, but I've been borrowing it for the last few months, and I really want my own, but I also like the violin and viola versions of this because they're great teaching resources, and also I love using um, sheet music like this to make arrangements for my group out of a basso duo that I have with my boyfriend. We like to arrange classical pop or movie music, video game music, all of that kind of stuff for viola and bass and having the sheet music already written out helps me just get my ideas down faster. Um, I have the ability to do it all by ear but it's a lot easier to do with some some sheet music to base things off of. So it's also just a lot of fun and it doesn't really relate to what I have to play as a career or anything. It's just fun and relaxing and anyone, even if they're not a professional musician but just play an instrument as a hobby, can use some of these. Just make sure it's the right kind of level for that person. My next recommendation is some art made by Inker Mezzo. She is a cellist and she creates this beautiful art. It is mostly just strings related, but if you have a string player in your life, these are really great options. So this one could be even for a non-string player. This was one of her Flash Foil Fridays um, from August. So every Friday she makes a piece of artwork with gold foiling on it. And I believe this one is called Composers Who All Happen to Be Women. And I love it. And you know, they've composed more than just string pieces. So this um, this style of artwork. She also has one for um, composers of color. Those are great options even if the classical musician in your life is not a strings player. You can still gift them um, a piece of art from Incremezzo. She also creates beautiful stickers. I have a few and I'll show a few clips in here, um, but they're absolutely gorgeous, reasonably priced, great, great artwork, and it supports a cellist, so that is always, always good. Next up are some simple stocking stuffers. So. We can always use more pencils and erasers. <laughs> so this Paper Beat number two pencil is like one of my favorites for writing in music. It's 1.3 millimeters thick, so very, very thick, and so it doesn't break very easily, and it also just shows up really well in my music. It also happens to have a princess on it because it was a pack of princess pencils, but the eraser on it is also great. But I really love these erasers that I got from Char. I forget 
the name of the company that makes these, but I will write it right here. They were like $3 on Char and it was a whole pack of like nine or something. I bought them just so that I could bump my order up to free shipping and it was totally worth it. They erase very well and the texture of them is also just really nice. Like I could kind of just touch these for a while. I just, I like the way it feels. <laughs> Well, we can always use more of those, especially if the musician in your life uses only paper music still, then pencils and erasers are always just good little stocking stuffers. This is a cute little gift that I got from my parents. Um, I think they got it from like a little shop that they went into on vacation a few years ago. It is just this little music composition notebook and it has little staff paper inside. It could be used as a regular notebook or if there's a composer in your life who likes to jot down little ideas on the go, this could be an option for them. It's also just super cute and it looks like any other little book of sheet music and it is also just like really cute decor. So um, I know my parents bought this in like a small shop, um, like in person, like a little boutique or something, but I, I'm pretty sure I've seen these on Amazon too. So I'll find a link and put it in the description box below. If the musician in your life is a string player, more strings are always appreciated because a lot of us don't buy strings as much as we should because they're expensive. So if you have a string player in your life and you know what kind of strings they use, that's always helpful. Or if you wanna give them a gift card to an online store where they can purchase strings for themselves, that is also very appreciated for many musicians. But of course, like I said at the beginning, you don't need to buy a musician a music related gift simply because they're a musician. Like, like you probably wouldn't do the same if you had a doctor in your life. Like you probably wouldn't buy them a new stethoscope or something doctor related. Like you just think of them as a person. So like take these with a grain of salt. You don't have to get someone all music related gifts. That, that's not what I'm trying to say. Just if you're looking for something music related, here are a few of my picks. A lot of musicians also use streaming services like Spotify or Apple Music. If there's someone in your life who's a musician who you know uses one or the other, you can always get them a gift card to help them pay for that subscription service because it is very helpful for us as musicians to listen to recordings of music. And also it's just a way, at least for me, to relax, to listen to non-classical music. So that is always very appreciated and it does help them as musicians. If you have lots of money and you're looking for a big ticket item, I absolutely love my iPad Pro 12.9 inch. Um, if you are not new to my channel, you have probably seen a bunch of my videos about the iPad and different music apps, but I absolutely love using my iPad for sheet music reading and there are great tuning apps and a practice journal app that I love. If you want to learn more about that, I have a whole playlist up above, but the iPad has made music really fun for me. <laughs> <laughs> just because I love testing out all of the different apps and pieces of tech and the Apple Pencil is like super amazing. It's very, very easy to write on the iPad as if it were paper sheet music. So I highly recommend the iPad Pro for musicians or at least one that is large enough for you to read your sheet music off of. And for me, that's the 12.9 inch version just because it's about as big as a real piece of paper. So if you're looking to spend a lot of money on a musician in your life, an iPad is definitely a really great investment. Of course, it depends on the person, but if someone has been hinting at wanting one and you've got the money to spend, it's a good option. Along with that, if someone that you know does use an iPad for music, you can always get them um, an App Store gift card, whether that is the Apple App Store or Google Play or Microsoft even, depending on what device they use. You can always get them that so that they can buy more music apps or upgrade some of their apps because some of them do cost money and they are very worth it, but I know from experience that I just don't always like paying for apps and so sometimes I just put it off for years. So that is always an option too. You can write like a cute note with it saying, you know, what you might want them to use it for. Just another idea. And my final gift idea for musicians is an autograph from their favorite musician. So I know some people love musicians whose autographs are very rare and others like musicians with autographs that you can find cheap very easily. But um, I have a whole collection of Taylor Swift autographs because she's my favorite musician. I also have Hilary Hahn's autograph that I got when I met her after a concert and those are both great. Like I said, I have a Taylor Swift autograph collection. so. I would always love to receive a new one, 
no matter what it was, because it means a lot to me. So if someone in your life loves a musician or artist a lot, like very, very much, an autograph is always a really great way to go. It's always best to buy them from the artists themselves. Um, so like Taylor Swift does autographs like all the time, not, not all the time, <laughs> but, um, in the last few years, basically every time she's released an album, she's done one or two drops of autographs. So it's been fairly easy to buy autographs from her and they've been all like $35 or under. So not super expensive, especially if you try to find them, um, on a secondhand website like Poshmark or Mercari or eBay. They sell for like hundreds and hundreds of dollars, which is way overpriced because she herself sells them for like $30. So you can always check out what options are, are available if there is someone in your life who loves a specific musician. An autograph is so personal and I, I just love my collection. So I think that that's a great gift idea and I would always love more of those because I love framing them. So those are my 2021 gift ideas for musicians. If there's anything on your wish list that I didn't mention, please leave it below because I'm sure that it would be a great idea for someone else who is looking to buy gifts for someone else. If there's something that you already own that I talked about in this video, tell me what it is down below and what your thoughts are on it because I'd just love to hear and start a conversation with you. If you liked today's video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and supporting my content on coffee. I would be so, so grateful if you did that. And also subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every Sunday at noon Eastern time. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.